Hello ladies and gentlemen, Cornish Lad here, and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. You may remember this game, this game was released uh, almost not far from a month ago, D-Day it was this year. Um, and I quite enjoyed it actually, I played this in my spare time, I've done a live stream of it, which was quite enjoyable. And now I'm actually doing a new series of it, and today I'm going to play as the uh, Soviet Union, Mother Russia! You know? Massive Mother Russia in other words. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, I felt like I should uh, do a bleeding video of this, or at least a series, but to be honest, before I continue on this, I want to say the channel has, yes, has been lacklusting. There's been a bit of negligence to it, there has been a lot of videos, I mean, two weeks now, there was a past video, been two weeks since there's been you know, a video on this. So really, we need, to be honest, I need to uh, get a move on with this and hopefully keep this channel maintained for like, the rest of my life, but by this right count, well, I, might, well, I might not be able to, but anyway, enough of that, that rambling is going to be for a different video for a different time. Tonight, Soviet Union, and I'm going to change its own government, yes, you must be thinking, what, what, you must be crazy, no. I'm not half, ah, three quarters, three quarters of bloody Russia there. All right, so let's get some research on the go. Uh, we've got an all right amount. I mean, we've got basic equipment and weaponry, but we need support weaponry. So let's get. And then this, I always choose. I go for different ones. We could go down the armor section. Get that T35 and a BT7, which, to be honest, we will need. So you could go there. You. Could the ships, we need all of this. So I'm gonna go with the Project 21 because I love battleships. That's the end. <laughs> okay, so we've already got in production some of these. We've got light tank, towed artillery, which can production can be increased. That can be increased at that. That can be increased at that. We ain't got a lot. Motorized again can be increased. I-16 fighter, fully. Same thing with the aircraft. Aircraft could be go, can go fully. Submarines we've got a massive amount of them. Destroyers, we're going low on that. Submarines will have the same amount each, and then that should do it. Uh, I could add another one, but I can't be bothered. Okay, so national focus. Here we are. This is the five. Finish the five-year plan. Improve railway network, transfer of flights, ocean, an ocean going navy, which is pretty much important. The Stalin constitution, I can go positive areas and more collective propaganda, and I can go down here. Militarized schools, work culture, new Soviet man, infrastructure effort, la 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 la. But I'm going to do the five year plan first, and then we can uh, go on from there. Uh, let's get some trade on the go. We've not got a lot of rubber, but I want to get a bit of oil on the go, really. For America first, yes, I know. Have oh, we got a 72 ship? I hope we have. Let's zoom in now. Uh, we've already got some units on the go. Here we go. We've already got some chaps on the ground, as well as a few fleets, uh, like this one. Uh, let's, let's go for this one. Get commanders. We need, we need pretty much a commander to, uh, to each fleet. Let's get that one. Select convoy escort. I'll be in Baltic, Eastern North Sea, and the English Channel, depending if Britain are sending convoys down our way. Up here is the same, we've got a uh, couple of fleets, in which I just rather put the two together, make it one massive fleet, because why not? Let's go again. Convoy rating. So let's go along the Norwegian Sea. Oh no, I don't want to. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Barnet Sea, Norwegian Sea, which is what we want. North Sea, just off the coast of uh, the Orkney Islands in Scotland. This is Scandinavia as well. Um, do we have any other fleets? No, apart from. I think we've got another one down here as well. Those who want to go convoy escort, these are the ones I'm about. Uh, 
let's go for you. Let's go for uh, a patrol. Always go for a patrol. I like a patrol. So again, you can go along the Baltic. And that's pretty much it. We know little about this region. Oh, you're kidding. So I'm going to go in here. Or in here. Oh, Adam. Let's go and do that one and then go for search and destroy. Again, we can't. The hell? Yeah, sod it. Go on, recon. Go on, recon. Might as well. Okay, so, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm going along here, aren't I? I would select the entire whole army, but there's no point. So, what I'm going to do is add a new army, get, assign a commander, I think. There are a couple of ones. And the front line will be pretty much Moscow, but there's no point. Neil Poir, as I sometimes say. Uh, what else? Ah, these buildings. Not far from Leningrad. Um, General Army. Sign. Top rank. Don't like level bleeding ones, which is stupid. I don't like threes and twos. I mean, not level ones. Oh, sorry, I can't think of what it is. I'm gonna put a front line against here. I've got an insect. Uh, I'm going to put front line here against uh, Estonia. That's the one. Um, and then create a new army. Let me sign to him. Again. The same front line. I want to get here. Uh, Estonia and Latvia would be nice for For a good amount, so let's go for these boys. Oh, yeah, that's a good amount. Oops. You clear have you. Alright, and then we can put these on the border of Latvia, pretty much. There you go. Right, now what I can do is this. Yeah. Luckily, this is great. Uh, oh, no, we can't. Why can't I? Oh, I need one more political power. Do I not right in fact? In other words, I can't do it yet. Yeah. Uh, let's go for a bit of rubber. What, I want to go for the minimalist. So let's go Brazil. Done. And then... I mean, no, I want some... Uh, steel. There we go. I can trade with Sweden, would be nice. Done. And then... Spain, or... Done. Okay, now I'm going to go diplomatic section here. Which is where I deal with uh, pretty much what's what. But I ain't going to actually. Quickest way actually is to do this. There's Mongolia. I fancy played as Mongolia. Okay, we're already, what, allies? Yeah, we've got the same faction going on. We're pretty much in a group. Um, increase speed, so we just get a move on. Uh, so, uh, what are the aircraft? <laughs> oh dear. Cancel all resources and ports. No. What? Unfulfilled import resources. No one else obeyed. Bloody thumb stretching. Because I haven't got enough chips, that's why. Oh well. These boys on the go. My logistics, all that. Yeah. Two more lives, brother. There's a piece of trade. So research. That. It takes some time. Increase a bit further. So yeah. We're on the. We're, this is pretty much how. It begins. You kind of you kind of start off already with a few forces on the ground near the front line. Well, near the uh, I want to say the western front, but it's not really. Cause it's the eastern front. Yeah, near the west. Uh, not western, eastern front. Thanks. 
<laughs> um, sometimes what we can do is it's great because you did you don't have to end up waiting for the war it's in the proper war now I could just fire a war goal against uh, Estonia conquer both four percent I don't care need 32 for more political power thank you very much so I need quite a lot it does the political power pretty much does require a lot these days really does so what are we doing now? no I still need a lot more anyway so yeah, I can sit there with about two forces on the front line near the border of Estonia or Latvia sit there wait for the political power to rise la -di da and then pretty much uh, pretty much go for it. If you're gonna go for Lithuania, don't because they're allied to Poland, so I'd wait. Unless Romania is also allied to Poland. Possibility? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I can't say. Unfortunately. I could just buy a war cold against Romania. I ain't gonna because it's nice and big, but I ain't going to. I'd rather go for little one, so Estonia and Latvia, you're bloody first. I would go against Finland, Sweden, yeah, but again, that massive countries that might end up building up a uh, proper uh, army, you know, during the invasion, so I wouldn't dare. I need five more political power. I should have about five more. Oh uh, yeah, three, two, it's, it's close. Hey, I have enough. <laughs> so that's now me, they've just gone out and you know said well, Estonia's probably uh, sod fascists it's what they are they must be it's gone wiped off the continent and all bloody blah, blah and all the stuff you know the stuff that people really just don't care about they have to fight they do but you know what about it. so I've got all these all these uh, lots which are going to be trained and done High reinforcement priority. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna put this on high because it all means that we've got yo. Da da da. Um production line. Put it on a massive amount on infantry equipment, so we're gonna make sure that's happening. Uh, I've also got if I might say aircraft. So what do I have here? I've got a tactical bomber. Tactical bomber, bombing. Luckily, I can go to like the nearest air base, which is right here. Minsk. It's about here. To Skov. These two. Oh, for a brush shift, actually, so that's both of them. You. That, 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 that. You two can go pretty much here. Baltic states. Because uh, we haven't declared war yet, nor is the uh, war justification finished. But, you know, we've got something in it. So. We can also chuck in a few more aircraft as well. We're going to, so. No point, to be honest. Also, here we are, there's a few here. So we've got a tactical bomber, naval bomber. Naval bomber can go uh, port strike. Tactical bomber can go uh, these two little fighter. No, I like these just, just select all of these. Apart from the fight. Good five year plan, it's done. Could be a bit dumb. Anyway, let's pull. We just finished the five year plan. Okay, so now we've got a five year plan, we can go here, move industry to the Urals, but uh, we're not at war at the minute. We can do defence of Moscow again. Uh, controlled by us, bloody, bloody, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, we can go for armament effort. Pardon me. <laughs> As two military factories. And then we can go extra research a lot, which is quite good for us. So we can go for armament effort and also go down here, but I'm not going to go to. I'm not going to do that actually, I'm going to wait, I want to get pretty much the top bits and pieces done. So we can go for, I should go navy actually, I'm going to wait for some days. And that can go away, so, yeah. There we go, I like it when it's in my list. Uh, oh yeah, of course you can change, oh yeah, look at that. Supply areas, look at this. 
Wait a minute, what? I can click, I can click, I can... Click to queue up construction. From supply to states. Here, here, here. Uh, resistance. It's a little bit of resistance. Might be a little bit of resistance here. Uh, resources. These are like our trade routes. Uh, import transfers. That's quite good. Though. Some learners are going on. <laughs> Diplomacy map. Uh, factions, here we go, so we've got factions here. So here we go, we've got the, ah, this is lovely. The common terms, which is us, um, Tan, Tan, what is it called? Tanutuva and Mongolia. The Allies, Britain, uh, which is pretty much it, and then soon it'll be France. The Axis, which is just Germany at the minute, but soon it'll be Italy. Even uh, Canada's part of the Allies. The United States are on their own. Uh, everybody else pretty much is on their own. Uh, Belgium, Portugal, blah de blah. You got Japan. Everyone's pretty much on their own, which is quite nice. I like that. Oh, nice. There's no point in that anymore. Because we can just. Oh, ah, fuck. Bugger. Default map, that's pet better. Strategic Navy map as well, which is quite good. And also, our map. Which is good. That's better. That helps. <laughs> I haven't ruined the game. I promise. So, what have we got here? We've got factories. We've got, look at this. Look at this. 36 out of 36 military factories, 47 out of 47. In other words, 47 civilian factories, 6 dockyards, 36 military factories are all in use. 6 dockyards. I thought we'd put more than that. We have. I don't know. I don't know. Where's resources? Supply area, so I can... Where are you going? Bloody lag. Oh, it's never wasted, no, it's fine. Okay. Alright, I don't know how long this has been going on for. Bloody ages, I bet. I can't remember what time I started. Bloody uh, hell. No. Um. Bloody hell, no way to work some money in college. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What have we got? Oh, we ain't got much. Well, the frame rate drops a bit, doesn't it? Put it on that, it's fine. Or is it just me? It's probably just me. Anyway, we finish our bloody war going against it. When does it finish? 27th of Nov. We're nowhere near. This is what I do. Just do that. Let's try and go quick. Anyway, forget about that. We'll leave it at that, ladies and gentlemen. This has been episode one of what I don't know what to call it—the freedom, not the Soviet Union, but the Freedom Union, the Dem Democratic Union. That's not even it. That sounds like a political party, now. Uh, sod it. Anyway, oh, the work of the freedom workers or democratic workers, the red menace of Italy. Oops. <laughs> um, but anyway. Enough, enough of the wobbling and the rambling. But anyway, um, yes. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty much the first episode. If you've liked it, hit the like button. Uh, also, uh, here's a recommendation go and watch um, The Solar Gamer. He's got this game and he's currently doing a series on it with uh, Italy. He's playing as Italy. Uh, I think he started off as the same as me in like 1939 or whatever. Um, 
And yeah, go and watch his set series. It's probably good, better than mine. But anyway, puffing that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, then hit the like button. Don't forget to comment down uh, below what you think of it. Should it continue and all that rubbish? La di da. Uh, apart from that, I shall see all of you lot in the next episode. Cheerio!